Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes and who loves uh, front-end development and scrolling websites the most. In uh, today's video, I wanted to introduce you to the Parallax Scrolling Masterclass, which I've put together and finally released uh, last week. It's a class going into a detail of using Scroller.js and you can get it uh, on my website in the store. In this short video, I'll introduce some of the demos we'll be going through in the class, how the class is actually structured and uh, what you can find inside of it. But firstly, let's talk about who is this course actually aimed for. So if you ever started playing with scrolling websites or if you were assigned a project and you had to use some scrolling animations and when show how to use them, how the scroll actually works, then this course is uh, right for you. Also for someone who used Scroller.js on a couple of projects before but couldn't actually get the data attributes to behave the way they want it. So this course clears everything up and you learn all you need to know to start your project from scratch without copying and pasting someone else's uh, code and trying to make it work with your custom uh, designed animations, which is actually essential. Scrolling, as you know, scrolling animations are very unique. There is not really a template you can reuse and uh, use it on your own project. So the aim of the course is to teach you the basics and more advanced stuff as well. So you can take that knowledge and apply it to your own projects. The course is structured into five teaching units. You've got the first one overview, then we go through a scroll of basics, how to include it uh, in our HTML, how the data attributes work, how to apply the first data attributes. Then we'll simply animate the background images. And then we'll look at the absolute and relative uh, modes of scroller. In the module three, we'll look at advanced animations, how to master the timing, how to pause an element, swapping background images and using percentage values, which is essential for responsive uh, use of scroller. And then in the final module four, we look at responsive and mobile implementation, when to turn it off and when to make it responsive. And in module five, we'll put it all together and you'll end up working on the project and uh, finish the project actually yourself. And uh, at the end, module six, there's a question and answer. So throughout the course, you should write down any of your questions and um, send them to me at the end and I'll answer them all on this page. So you can even read uh, questions of others, which could help you on your own project as well. The structure is actually following a progression. So we're starting with basics and uh, as we teach you the more, more advanced stuff, we're progressing to the next uh, units. So at the start, you'll have only introduction available. The rest of them is uh, will be grayed out. And that's basically just to give you the structure to follow. You can uh, unlock all of these uh, units uh, if you like to, but I, I definitely encourage you in your own uh, interest to follow the follow the order of these ones. And uh, I think that's way that's how you get the most out of the course. Here we've got the basic template we'll use for most of our demos as a starting point. So hopefully you've got some uh, knowledge of uh, media queries, how to make things responsive, how to change width, heights and uh, margins for different uh, breakpoints. So we'll use this template as a starting point for most of the demos and uh, hopefully you'll get familiar with it very quickly because then we'll move into implementing scroll on uh, some of the parts. We usually take, a, take a, a look at one of the section at a time. So in this uh, demo, we practicing the absolute and relative modes. So as you can see, we are animating the two boxes just slightly after each other, but we are in a definite control when they are animating in. And you can play with the data attributes we're using to come up with your own uh, animations. So this one practicing absolute relative uh, timing. Uh, this one practicing timing in general of the animations. So as you can see, we've got the boxing ring rotating and actually zooming in as well at the same time. Again, we know exactly when this is happening. So that's why I call it mastering the timing because that's very, very important when it comes to 
scrolling animations. And in the last demo I wanted to show you is when we are finally on the boxing ring and we've got the round one sign pausing for the animation and then we're swapping background images of a one diff as we scroll down and fading out. Okay, so this demo is practicing how to swap background images on scroll. And uh, so yeah, these are three examples of the demos we'll be covering in the class. Each unit has a video at the top and then short summary plus some resource links uh, if it applies to that unit and then zip file which you can download and follow the steps uh, in a video uh, step by step. So this includes the starting files and finished files of that unit as well. So at the end of it you can compare yours and uh, the final files as well. You can open it in any code editor you like. I'm using Sublime Text in uh, in the course but you can follow the steps uh, in any of your favorite uh, code editors. And that's it. So hopefully this short video gave you a little overview of what you can find inside of the Parallax Scrolling Masterclass. If you're still not sure whether it's uh, right for you or not, just send me a question and I'll be more than happy to answer. The whole class duration is about three hours. Uh, some of the people already who went through the class could complete it in half a day in a day. It really depends on your own uh, pace and time available. There is also some uh, reviews of people uh, who already completed. So that might be also helpful when you're deciding whether to buy it or not. That's all from me for now. And hopefully I'll see you inside of the class. Bye.